Hey guys, it's Russell back, and on today's video, I'm going to be testing and reviewing, as you've seen in the thumbnail, Ammo's Foam Paint Cleanser. This is the most requested test to do for a soap that I've ever had. Um, and I want to tell you guys, this stuff is very expensive. This is viewer paid for. In other words, I had uh, posted a video a couple weeks ago telling you guys that um, if you wanted to donate to the channel to fund reviews like this, then I set up a PayPal account for you to do that. It's in the description box below. So you guys paid for this, or the people that have donated. And I appreciate so much everybody's support of the channel. Um, I think I've probably had about 10 people make donations anywhere from 10 to $50. And that really means a lot because I can do reviews like this. So what I'm gonna do is with stuff that is bought with viewer money, um, after the review, I'm probably gonna do, I don't know, four or five of them, however much the funds last. Then we're gonna have a drawing for every $10 amount of donation you have, that's an entry. So if you donated $10, that's one entry. If you donated $50, that's five entries. So however many people um, have donated, we'll put an entry in, we'll do it on camera. Um, and then that person's going to get the box of everything that it was paid for, whatever it is, this included. So um, I don't want to make this too long, but I wanted to thank you guys so much for that. Um, such I've gotten such good comments and messages and everything. And I appreciate the support of the channel because I do this for you guys. If you guys aren't involved in it, there's no sense in me doing it because it gets very expensive. So with that being said, going to review the ammo paint foam cleanser um, what's weird about this is the dilution ratio and I haven't really solidified this in my mind but it says to to put three squirts in a bucket or foam cannon so Larry if you're if you ever watch this please put some type of quantitative measurement like ounces half an ounce one ounce per two gallons something like that because my squeeze and somebody else's squeeze, it's all gonna be subjective. So off camera, I'm gonna see approximately how much a squeeze is into the shot glass. Um, you know, it depends on how long you, it's just subjective. I, I wanna give this a really fair review. Um, that's just, that's how I wanna do it. So I'm not gonna say how many ounces we're gonna be using in our MTM submachine gun style foamer. I'm going to use three squeezes. I'll give you the approximate amount that it is when I determine how much one of my squeezes are. Your squeeze may produce more or less. Um, so that's just the way it is. And the same thing with the bucket. I'm gonna use the same three gallon bucket and it says use three squeezes. That's what we're gonna use. But I'll be able to, to maybe give you some guidelines of approximately how much a squeeze is. I don't know. I'm thinking it depends on how viscous this stuff is. It's got a very small port um, exit port on here so it's it may not be a lot so I don't want anybody saying you didn't use enough soap you didn't this and I looked online I looked on a lot of the forums for a, quite a while and nobody has quantitatively said how much a squeeze should be I'm personally thinking it's maybe half an ounce I don't know but we're gonna do what Larry said he's the one that designed this so anyway um, we're going it's about 80 degrees out here there's a light breeze it is sunny so the car is pretty dirty as you'll see in a minute and i'm really excited to try this out i know you guys are too you're excited to see what it is let's do that together this car is filthy some bug guts on there Ammo's gonna have its work cut out for it. 
Okay, so I measured one of my squirts and it comes out to an ounce. So we have two ounces of our ammo foam paint cleanser and 10 ounces of warm water. Let's see how this foams. All right, well, initially when it comes out, it's fairly thick. Um, maybe a hint, slight hint of some lubrication in there. There's a lot of medium cell um, foam cells in here and it's, I don't know, it's pretty runny. seems to like the flat surfaces or non-vertical surfaces better. It has a very strong soap odor to it. You guys know I don't care what the soap smells like, but for those of you that do, um, it's not the most pleasant smell in the world. It's, um, I don't know, it's, it's just kind of soapy smelling, but that kind of stuff I don't care about. All right, so we're gonna let this dwell for six total minutes. We'll come back, we'll see if it harmed our Adam's paint sealant that we have on here. And more importantly, did it remove the non-bonded contaminants. All right, guys, here we are six minutes later, and I'm gonna say there's probably 80% left on the hood, the windshield and top, and maybe 5% left on the side. Now keep in mind, it's about 80 degrees out, it is sunny, and there is a slight breeze, so that will accelerate the, well, the drying of the foam on the car, basically. This is a pH balanced or neutral formula, I believe, and it's not gonna hurt the car at all. So, we're gonna go ahead and rinse this off, see if it actually re completely rinses, and see if it removes our non-binding contaminants and if it damages the Adams liquid paint sealant.
Okay, so the rinsing off of the ammo foam was very easy, even on the areas that was dry. As you can see, it hasn't harmed our Adams liquid paint sealant. And as we expect, it's not going to remove the bonded contaminants. We don't expect that to. There's a little bit of bug guts there. It did a good job. I don't have any complaints. The only thing I think I would improve is the uh, as a foam is the lubrication in it it's a little less than I would figure it would be but so I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna give it an 8 out of, out of 10 it's a good I think it's a good solid foam okay so next thing we want to do is we want to see how well this operates as a solution in our hand wash and we'll do that next okay so at the beginning of the intro you guys heard me talk about the directions that say um, I'm gonna read them verbatim real quick it says add three squeezes of ammo foam to a bucket or foam gun all right so off camera when I filled up the foam gun I wanted to see how much the squeeze was and this is one of my squeezes okay so that's that's almost an ounce. So we're going to, it's, and just to give you some characteristics of this, it's a emerald green liquid that has a very, it's a very soapy smell. There's, I don't know if that's, it doesn't smell like there's any scent in it at all. It's, I would say medium viscosity, but so we're going to do that one squirt. Whoops. Two squirts. Three squirts, it's a little messy, but it's about an ounce. I don't know, you know, if you're too, if you're half ounce too much or too less, I don't know if that's really going to skew the results. I do, I do wish that he would put a numerical number on there. It would make it a little easier, but anyway, we're going to go with what he recommends. So. There is maybe a fraction of lubrication so far. You can't really see it, but the soap is sitting on the bottom like a mildly viscous to highly viscous soap will do. And that's some of the properties of it. So I'm going to go ahead and agitate this with a pressure washer. We'll see how much foamage we get. got a lot of large to medium density bubbles in it. The foam is, I don't know if you can, I hope the camera's picking this up. The sunlight is really intense right now, but it is breaking down quickly. But let's see. Oh yeah, there is, there is quite a bit of lubrication in the water, which is very good. Very, very good. All right. So let me go ahead and get Everything set up, I'll get our four mitts and we'll see how this performs as a hand wash on the Accord.
All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and give you my final assessment on the ammo foam paint cleanser. And I think it's a good solid soap. I'm going to rate it an eight and a half. There are a couple of things maybe I would change to make it do better. The lubrication is great in the bucket and it felt good in the mitt on the surface of the paint. But the durability of it, in other words, when I was towards the end of the section I was going to wash, kind of petered out a little bit. So uh, it did a good job on the bonded contaminants. And um, I mean, it's, it's a good solid soap. There's nothing bad about it. I would use it again. The other thing that I would change is the price point. I think it's a little expensive for only an eight and a half grade soap, but uh, you guys may agree or disagree with that. But anyway, I am going to go ahead and wrap this video up. I'm not gonna put a link in the description to Amazon because this is not available on Amazon, at least at the time of the shooting. So uh, you guys will have to go to Larry's site and order the ammo paint cleanser if you so desire and would like to try it out, which I would encourage you to do. Um, and, you know, it's a good, it's a good solid soap. So guys, I appreciate your viewership. I appreciate if you haven't subscribed that you would do so. I give honest reviews, uh, no matter whether I bought the product, whether somebody donated the money to buy the product or somebody donated the product, you're going to get an honest upfront, uh, basically, um, no holes bar review on whether I like it or not. There are a lot more soaps coming up. I got to tell you guys, I've got a soap. Actually, I've got two of them that knocked my socks off. I've already shot the video and the video will be out in a couple weeks. It's awesome stuff. I don't know. Is it going to be that 10 we're looking for? I don't know. This one came out of left field and I am really, really excited to have you guys watch that. That's coming up. I'm not going to, I'm not going to spoil it. I'm not going to tell you what it is until it's up. But anyway, guys, thank you for your uh, comments. Thank you for your kind words and messages and your encouragement. And I will see you guys on the next video.